One, two, three. Thank you all for coming. I am more deeply moved than my shallow confidence shows. <laughs> when I was a little boy, I mean about 10 years old, <laughs> I can remember that far back. <laughs> My mother, who was stage truck, although not in the theater, used to take me to all the Broadway shows with the biggest stars in our history. Jokes and Eddie Cantor, Lorette Taylor, ah, well, he didn't go on. So as a consequence, she would take me at the age of 10 to see all these performers at matinees. And one day, my mother and I found us standing in the lobby of the Imperial Theatre on 45th Street, New York. But we had picked the wrong day <laughs> for the matinee. <laughs> So there we were standing at a loss in the lobby when out should come the house manager, a giant of a man with a black derby. And he saw us standing there at a loss in the lobby. So he approached us. He said, what are you doing here? And my mother explained, we had come forth for the matinee, but it was the wrong day. <laughs> oh, said the house manager, so you want to be an actor? <laughs> I said, yes, sir. He said, you want to be an actor? What is that? You become an actor and end up with the Bago in Milwaukee. <laughs> <laughs> so as a consequence, at this long history, I have always avoided Milwaukee. <laughs> <laughs> I've had some pretty close calls. <laughs> I don't recommend any of you to become active. Yeah. <laughs> I recommend tennis instead. <laughs> Which you played to Oh, Oh, right, you rascal! How did you get in here? That's a piece of 
Isn't this beautiful? This makes the occasion special. Good to welcome you, Ryder. Thank you, sir. You're looking very well. I, I approve of your hat. <laughs> and think that I should be wearing it instead. <laughs> you want to lend it to me? There's stuff inside. <laughs> I always wanted to wear a top hat. <laughs> Thank you, Ryder. Wow. <laughs> Ryder, thank you. I'll give it back to you. <laughs> Thank you, Ryder. You know, with the great costume house of Brooks Brothers, I don't mean the men's store, I mean the costume house. And the wonderful fittings we used to have for the Broadway shows. I always wanted a part with a top hat. <laughs> As you can tell from my career, I never got one. Till <laughs> now. I have to return this to Ryder. Thank you, Ryder. You know, he's disappeared. <laughs> Uh, not only do I want to thank you all for coming, but people ask me, how does it feel to be 105? <laughs> and I say, I don't know, it's the first time. <laughs> <laughs> but through the good services of Meredith and Sarah, I expect we'll go on for several more years. Candidates for the future. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Bound to happen, yeah. One should never get one's hand caught in the chocolate cake. <laughs> so now I've said all the very wise things I contemplated. <laughs> And I'm going to thank you all again. Bless you all. Thank you. And I hope I see you next year. That's the biggest hand I've had in years. <laughs> <laughs>